Welcome to Cal's second customer questions and answers session. This week, we have focused our questions and answers around the initial detail of our phased reopening approach. What date will your centres reopen? Bradley Park Golf Course reopened to customers on the 23rd of May. However, government guidance currently doesn't allow leisure centres to open. This is dependent on the government's five tests continuing to be met and COVID-19 cases continuing to decline. Until the government allows leisure centres to reopen, Cal is unable to provide a reopening date. As soon as we have the go-ahead from the government, we will promote a definite reopening date and further information to our customers. You've explained that there will be a phased approach to reopening the leisure centres. Could you provide any more information? Cal will be reopening our centres in phases in line with the table below. Initially, we will open on a gym and class only basis, followed by swimming. Phase one, gym and classes at Batley Sports and Tennis Centre, Dewsbury Sports Centre, Huddersfield Leisure Centre and the Stadium Health and Fitness Club. Phase two, swimming will be at Batley Sports and Tennis Centre, Dewsbury Sports Centre, Huddersfield Leisure Centre and the Stadium Health and Fitness Club. Phase three, gym and classes will be at Colne Valley Leisure Centre, Lockwood Park Health and Fitness Club and Sissit Baths and Fitness Centre. Our phased approach is based on our capacity to reopen sites safely, where we can accommodate customers whilst ensuring social distancing is maintained, as well as effectively implementing the required additional hygiene measures. The sites in the earlier phases generally have larger floor areas and or more flexible spaces to give Cal the opportunity to cater for the greatest number of customers in light of the reduced capacities we will have. What about your other sites that aren't listed above? When will they reopen? The remaining Cal Leisure facilities do not provide the necessary social distancing space for customer groups to safely make use of these sites. The number of people who could safely be accommodated in these sites also makes them unviable to reopen at the current time. Whilst we understand some customers will be disappointed their local site is not opening initially, we have considered this very carefully and have made this difficult decision to ensure the safety of our customers and staff. We will continue to regularly review all of our facilities and consider reopening further facilities when it is safe and practical to do so. What about sports and other activities? Cal will keep all areas and activities under review and in line with the available government and national governing body of sport guidance, seek to add additional activities and products to our reopening plans when it is safe and when we have the capacity to do so. We'll keep all customers updated as and when we have further details. I don't want to use any of the four sites you are opening initially. What happens with my membership? As we explained in our earlier Q&As, all Cal members will have an option to extend their freeze period by up to three months. We'll provide details of how to do this in our reopening email to all members. If I choose to return on day one, what will happen regarding my direct debit? We appreciate some of the procedures we have put into place, along with the amended capacities and reduced number of CAL sites initially open, will mean that the early experience upon reopening may not be what our customers are used to. In recognition of this, and as a thank you for sticking with CAL while we've been closed, those CAL members who return in the first month after reopening will have their direct debit amended to just five pounds. Will all of your staff receive additional training to keep customers safe? Absolutely. There will be specific training topics that our staff will need to complete before we reopen. This is to ensure that they all have the information needed to be comfortable and confident in their role and how they will perform that role to keep themselves and our customers safe. We also really need our customers to help out here. Not coming to your local leisure centre if you're feeling unwell, maintaining good hygiene standards and following the social distancing guidance within each CAL site. Are the reopening times of the centres that are reopening likely to change? To allow for extra cleaning in the leisure centres, it is likely that there may be some slight changes to the previous opening times. As soon as we have confirmed these, we'll update all customers. We hope our Q&As have helped you understand how the overall reopening of sites will be phased.
Next week's Q&As will consider how our sites will look after reopening.